Twisted Sniper 42 here <coughs> with just a quick um, kit review and unboxing. Um, yeah, it's uh, a Tamriya Castrol Toyota Tom Super GT, uh, which some of the parts are missing. I know it is because. Um, I bought this at a discount price, so I know I know what bits are missing anyway. So it's just basically I had uh, the only thing that's actually missing out of this the box was um, basically a set of uh, tyres. So it's yeah, probably the camera's probably a little bit too close. Let's see if we can. Oh, yeah, oh dear, it's too There we go. Box up is quite nice. I mean, I bought this. I mean, I'll show you there, look. Got it from Motorzone before they closed down. Retail price, 1995 Because it had just the missing wheels, I actually got it for basically a tenner. So, I'm not going to grumble at that. Um. Yeah, as I said, I've got two of these. Um, I've got also actually paid I don't know, about twelve quid. Is it twelve quid? No, actually, I paid a tenner for uh, the other one I've got as well, which is actually complete. This is literally just before they closed down, so I've got two of these, which is great. Because uh, I'm going to build one standard. This one, um, I'm not quite sure. I, I sort of got an idea what I want to do with it. Um, but it's not going to be standard anyway um, same as always I want to do something with it but we'll get to that at another stage I suppose um, it's pretty much standard Give you a bit of gives you a bit of history same old same old really blah 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 instructions are pretty much the same for every single one the, the only thing with this is This reminds me more of a bloody aircraft <laughs> than a car, to be honest. I mean, look at all these bloody call look at these callouts. Look, every one of those is a decal. It's just, look at it. Look. But anyway, it's a lot of decals. So, um, yeah. But I want to build this at some stage. Uh, as you can see, I haven't. I've unbagged some of it, but not all of it. It's yeah, you know, it's quite quite nice. Uh, Moulded in hood pins. Uh, as you can see, it's got the uh, fuel filler at the back for the uh, for the racing, obviously. Uh, there's a little bit of a seam line down the bonnet there. Mould line. Uh, strange thing is though, sorry, rear arches are in there, but the front arches you have to attach yourself. But anyway, uh, it's pretty nice. Not, sorry, not going to grumble. It's pretty good. So yeah, uh, obviously glass. As you can see, I haven't unpackaged the glass obviously because. No scratches. Looks pretty good. Actually, got all the uh, you can see it. All the probably not. No, it doesn't want to, does it? They do it there. Probably not. All the detail for the actual headlights inside it, which is quite nice. Um, what else we got? Oh, there we go. These are the front arches, which have to be stuck on. On here we have exhaust, firewall for inside the car, a few other bits and pieces for inside the car, roll cage, two-part bumper. This is uh, this is if anybody's seen this kit before. That's where it goes. Just there. 
comes in two parts. It's also got vents, two other vents on the top, on the top which are actually there. I'll tell you light comes in three parts. I lied. There you go. Uh, oh no. Yeah, it does. No, that's rear wing. Sorry, rear wing. On the sides, radiator, uh, towing eyes, roll cage. Oh no, that's not roll cage. That's steering column. Lying again. <laughs> yeah, roll cage. Uh, yeah. Oh, the other vents. Oh, what are those vents? Not there. Those are. Oh, maybe that's oil cooler and that. Possibly could be the oil coolers. Looks like it. Yeah, I think so. Uh, what else we got? There's only actually three sprues. It's it's uh, another typical Tamiya curbside, obviously. Uh, I like I like the chassis in this. I really do. It's really nice. The tub's really nice. The, all the detail in it. It's got the uh, the exhaust there where it's raised up. Oh, it's great. I love it. There's quite a bit of detail in there. It's really nice. Uh, another cooler there. Uh, you've got the single bucket seat in it. Suspension parts. All the. Um, Gone. Uh, for the steering and that, that's for that. Drive shafts, dash a lot. Got quite a nice little dash there. Got the little, quite nice. I quite like that. Got the uh, for the little digital rev counter and all that. Uh, fuel tank, hoses for the rear windows, minimal door cards, obviously. Yeah, yeah some little door cards, brakes and rotors, pedals are separate on this, I like that because they go on the floor. Steering wheel, more suspension parts, uh, steering rod. It's actually got separate um anti roll bar, that's quite cool. Front and rear, that's pretty nice. Hmm, I hadn't noticed that before. Anyway, yeah. Um yeah, the other thing I do like it, even though it's curbside kit. Sorry guys, it actually comes with the moulded bottom half of the engine instead of being moulded in there. It's actually different, so you could actually possibly. I know they do uh, this the same Supra standard, the standard Supra that has the actual engine in it. I know that, so you could ditch that, or you could use the engine out of that, or use the top half of that other engine. And uh, put it to that, obviously. It's quite nice. Little centre console. And uh, there. Yeah, it's quite nice. I quite like this kit. Little, that tiny little gear shift with the pull up reverse leave, lever. It's quite nice. Yeah, um, as I say, the only thing that was missing from this is the uh, tyres. Maybe just the tyres. Maybe the poly caps. Yeah, tyres and poly caps, I think. But I have got the wheels which are st staggered. They're quite nice, I like those. And I have actually stolen one of the tyres <laughs> out, as you can see, because it's not quite wide enough for the uh, Skyline kit. But. A separate seal, sorry. See if we can get a better. There we go. Quite nice. S split rims there. It's got the centre lug nut in there. Quite nice. Don't know whether I'm going to keep those chrome though. No? Or what I'm going to do. Um, what else have we got? You probably won't be able to see these possibly. Oh, yeah, you can. How about that? That's the first. Tyre logos. Now, I like these. I really do. But generally, on uh, with like decals, what I do decals, whichever, I usually copy them and then put them on file. Which I lost all my files thanks to my computer. But never mind. Um, but the whites don't come out obviously for certain reasons, as you know. And here's the other decal sheet. Now, just just a few on there. <laughs> 
just a few. But it's even got the rear of the carbon fibre for the seat and the seat belt straps and everything. To be honest, I think it's, it's a lovely kit. I love this kit. It's really nice. If I can, I might even get another one at some stage. Um, as I was saying, there's the. Uh, The insert there for the uh, rev counter on the dash. Yeah, some real nice, real nice. Does it, who's, does it actually say who's done? Uh, it doesn't actually say who the. Uh, who did? Let's have a, uh, see if it says on the box anywhere. Da -da 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 -da. Sometimes it tells you. Hmm. Maybe not. I thought they might be cartographer, but clearly not. They're, but they're not bad. They're, as I say, they're. Hmm. They're not bad. A little thickish. Not too thick though. They're pretty good. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it. It's, it's, it's a nice little kit. I have two of these. Elliot, you have none. <laughs> so, there you go. I know you haven't got a super in your stash. I have two. But anyway, enough messing about. Um, yeah, overall, it's quite a nice little kit. Only downside is, same as always with me, to be honest, it's, it's a curbside. Uh, you know what I think about curbside kits, to be honest. It's, they're not fantastic. But all in all, it's got some nice box art. It's it's a nicely detailed kit. There's no flash on it whatsoever. There's a few mould lines, as I say, on the body and that. But all in all, it's it's this is a nice little kit. You could get some nice photo etch parts with this, like take the bonnet pins off, bonnet pins, uh, belts. I mean, there's plenty of bits and pieces photo etch wise you can get out there. You could make a really nice kit out of this. A real nice kit. Um, oh, that's the only other thing I think that's missing is, is the uh, grill mesh. But I've got some of that. I might even get some photo etch grill mesh for that for, for the one that I will do as Tom Super. The only thing with this, actually, I know this from uh, talking to a few other people um, over the last year, is that these, these decals are a complete and absolute ass to put on. You definitely need um, some microcell, microset, or the equivalent. I've got some uh, Humbrol decal fix, which works quite well for this, actually. You've just got to be a bit patient with it. But, yeah, you you really do need that for this kit, because um, it's, it's similar to the Skyline. Um, which one, which kit's that? Oh, can't think which kit it is. But one of the Skyline kit is very similar to this. A lot of decals covered, literally covered in decals and uh, yeah you'd need it for that too but this is a good kit uh, I'm going to enjoy building this when I get to it this one I have a plan for possibly we'll see but um, yeah nice kit nice kit indeed um, uh, what else oh uh, liked your response old git Mick <laughs> this morning, uh, <laughs> you know what build, what uh, group build that is, as well as I do. <laughs> um, if you don't, just send me a message and I'll tell you whose group build it is. Um, Styring Junkie, good to see you, uh, as I said, um, nice to see you driving, uh, getting out. I know you're not doing a lot of modelling, you don't get a lot of time to put anything up at the minute, but you know, it's good to see you working and, and getting back into it from your. Uh, Facebook stuff and uh, good to see Jen's well and the kids. Um, also, Chris, thanks for the uh, tips on uh, the airbrush. Thank you very much. I shall. Uh, that's me done. I'll see you later, guys. Thank you.